I was just reading that you you tend to always go very deep into your characters when you're preparing. So you had decided to make the contact lenses that obscured your vision? I really just work hard. I yeah. mean, there's really no mystery to it or there's nothing that special about the way that I work compared to anybody else. Some people... You know, they work on their lines, they listen to music. Okay, I'm ready for the scene. Some people focus or do this. Some people, you know, everyone has their 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 thing that they do. I mean, even you, when you 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 uh, write uh, something of feel totally different. You know, some of the stuff that you do can go, go viral or get written about, especially with the Joker, you know, some stuff just took on a life of its own and then most of it was total bullshit. What exactly did people get wrong about the Joker? I, I mean, I just think that there were some things, you know, that were mentioned about like gifts and the fact <laughs> that I was giving used condoms to people, which was not true. We can say that right now. That it is not true. It was not true. <laughs> and what are you going to do at that moment? You can't even, it doesn't matter how loud you, you shout or or hold up a sign, you know, with your pants off in Times Square, people are going to go with the story that they want to run. Right. Uh, and it just wasn't true. You know, I gave rap gifts to everyone. And on set, we were all laughing and people were thrilled to give them. They were given like, you know, whatever the Joker would give would, was, was the idea. Right. And, and, you know, I didn't even really put them together, basically. It was, it was <laughs> my team and my assistant and we were all having fun with it. And it was really touching at the end of the set, you know, to go and give the gifts and we would film it and stuff and people would open up and they'd be laughing. There'd be like a, uh, you know, a porno magazine, like plus 60 or whatever, right. it would, you know, whatever would be funny or it'd be like, uh, 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 you know, whatever would be absurd and outrageous. And for us, it was almost like an art project. Mm -hmm. We were all like putting together in the trailer and to see it kind of taken and manipulated, taken out of context and to be made this really horrid thing and then to have people speak about it like it was offensive when right. it was anything but it was right. it was in good fun and uh and and light-hearted and um and everything that it should should have sure. been uh and uh so so but that's that's the world we that's what the world we live in um um was i focused uh uh, when I was doing the scenes and all of that, of course, yeah, of course, you're stepping into big shoes. You, it's, and it's, yeah. you, look, you work the way you work. I'll work the way I work. You can kiss my ass if you don't like it. Uh, that I'm talking to the public, you know. Yeah.